Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel. It's a beautiful day. Good evening to y'all. Uh, I just want to keep working on this game. Um, so I, I thought of a few things just now, and I thought I'd do it like this. I would uh, make a float here, max velocity, then make a vector 2f, and then direction. And then go ahead and do a vector 2f or a acceleration kind of float acceleration. So max velocity, direction, uh, float acceleration. And then what else do I want? I want velocity, direction, acceleration, and uh, well if you have zero acceleration that means I don't want an extra boolean, that's the thing. Some, some bullets I don't want to accelerate, I want them to have max velocity from start to finish. If it is uh, if you can accelerate it, well Bool 0.f. Well, we'll just we'll just keep it like this. If acceleration is zero, then it will be good. All right. So float max velocity, float acceleration, and then vector 2f direction. So we'll be able to change the direction. Now, max velocity equals max velocity. Uh, this acceleration equals acceleration. This direction equals direction. Uh, so this is good. Max velocity multiplied by this direction dot x so I'm gonna move this in my way uh, max velocity multiplied by this direction dot y so usually the direction is gonna be 1 and 0 so it's gonna be positive x it's gonna be good um, Then let's see. Okay, so that's good. So it's going to move current velocity. Uh, let's see. So it's direction. It's going to move in, let's see, current velocity. Well, I do want a current velocity as well. That is what I want. I want a vector 2f current velocity. Just for the acceleration. Um, so, this current velocity dot x equals this uh, plus equals plus equals this acceleration so what I want is I want acceleration to be well it's just gonna be one way acceleration multiplied by uh, this direction dot x so that's going to accelerate in the direction this direction dot y so we're gonna have a velocity increasing by the acceleration multiplied by direction and then in the end we're going to this is going to happen every frame. Uh, 
if current velocity dot x this current velocity dot x is less than this max velocity this is the max velocity for y or x y equals less than max velocity um, there we go and move whoops excuse me so why so we're good then we're just gonna move with uh, insert cur this current velocity so that should be good uh, now if this acceleration is greater than 0 0.f then we're gonna do this um, else this current velocity equals vector 2f velocity this max velocity this max velocity multiplied by this direction y and then multiplied by this direction x so we're good all right um there we go and then we're just going to move it at the end so this is this is good now player game i think where do i push back here bullets push back bullets let's write that get position max velocity uh okay what we need to do is we need to copy all of this into bullet so float direction and acceleration bullet texture sprite get position uh, max velocity is 25 dot f accelerate direction is going to be vector 2f so we're going to do a positive x axis and no y acceleration is 0.1 f and uh, yeah let's see if we can do this so they are accelerating they are accelerating let's just say the acceleration should be a little faster and 0.5 so we'll let them off and we should have an initial velocity as well so that's kind of cool for missiles right i mean they kind of just speed up they speed up and was, let's see float acceleration best max velocity and then we want a direction you know I want to order these I want to order these properly so I want to have direction position and stuff here you know velocity acceleration I want a float initial city just like that just order these kind of in a way because it's so big this parameter list um, okay so this current velocity equals initial velocity vector 2f 
this initial wait uh, initial velocity multiplied by this direction dot x and velocity time direction y so this is kind of a it sets the current velocity the initial velocity max velocity acceleration direction so that's good um, what else do I have let's see player so now when I push back a bullet we have to reorder these we're gonna put this ahead so position direction max velocity acceleration direction initial velocity so 5 dot F then 25 is the max uh, acceleration is 0 0.5 so let's try this yeah that's a little faster to so give you kind of that feeling of we're going faster so that's good that's good I'd say that's really nice uh, let me do this let me divide these up in kind of importance right there there we go um, now what I want to do is I want to draw the drawing I want to draw bullets before the player and I want to set the position of the player to the center center of the player get position uh, here we go vector 2f you know what Let me see. Uh, here we go. Sprite vector to F player center. All right. So player center update 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 positions kind of. Uh, this player player center oh whoops this isn't supposed to be here Let's see player dot h player center equals this sprite dot get position dot x minus so vector 2f there we go so x plus this sprite dot get global bounds dot width divided by 2 so that's the x center uh, and then the Y center is going to be the same thing, just with Y. So height, height. There we go. So that's the player center for us, and it'll keep that updated. Uh, movement. Okay. bullets I don't want to have to create a new freaking vector every time so I'm just gonna do this and then player center dot y dot y equals this player sprite blah 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 there we're good all right So player center Y, good. 
Now, what do I want to do? I want it to... Here. This player center. Player center. So it's going to start them off at the center of the player. Kind of the center, of course, because... This is... Uh, it has to be... Let me see. I don't think it matters if we set the bullets. Set origin. This sprite that set origin. But the get position is going to be from that origin. We don't want that. We do not want that. I want to do set position. Position. Let me see. Vector 2F. So the player center, we're going to make sure it is position.y. X minus. Uh, wait. Minus position dot y so minus or rather plus this bright dot get global bounds dot width divided by two because it's gonna go get that position and then minus no minus my own width minus the width so we'll go back a little bit to half of the missile's width and then we're going to do the same thing here height height so we'll, we should be good now yeah now it's completely from the center which is nice okay we're going to make sure when the player shoots we're going to be like max speed 35 and we're going to accelerate that fast. Let's see if this makes it cooler. I want them to go really fast. So they are going kind of fast. Now I just want to try this with two players. If everything works like it should. And there we go. All right. Uh, yep, the missiles work. Everything's working. Player one, player two. All right. Bam, 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 bam. Right. Oh, that's kind of cool. How the missiles kind of while you're going forward. They're <laughs> nice. All right. We're good, guys and girls. Just want to try some stuff out. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope this is a good series for you guys to learn. I don't explain a lot of stuff here, but still, you know, just, just going with me, seeing my thought process and stuff. Maybe you'll learn something. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Take care. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.